Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and I'm here today to share with you some of my favorite Christmas quilts that I use to decorate all throughout our home. I filmed a video just recently with some of our Christmas decor projects, so if you missed that one, be sure that you look for that one as well. But today I'm going to show you mostly larger quilts and projects that I use. And I do have a couple of things I'm working on right now that are will be new for this year, but I'll share with those with you later in another video. So for now, let's just get started and I'll show you some of my favorite quilts. First up, I'll show you a couple smaller things that I could have put in that other video. This one is one of my favorite pillows. It's actually from the Free Village Houses tutorial. And so you just make, you know, the houses and do the little patchwork strips and it's just a, a really, really fast and fun, easy quilt to make. So I will provide, I think it's still free, the tutorial for this one. So I will put a link to this one in the description. Another one I wanted to show you is just a little table topper that I absolutely love. This is a fig tree Christmas figs fabric. And there's a newer edition of this fabric collection that's available now. And the pattern is called Hopscotch. And it's just a really cute and simple little table topper that I've really enjoyed using. The next one that's smaller is a, is a Christmas tree skirt. And this is actually also from the Christmas Figs collection. And it is cut out and bound around the center so you can put it around the trunk of the tree. And it's actually quite big, it's square, so it's a really nice size. And this is from the Christmas Figs Brock of the Month book. And I have one of my larger quilts that I'll be sharing in a little bit is also from this same book. But just to show you the Christmas tree skirt, um, you can actually take any quilt pattern and make it into a Christmas tree skirt, but this one is designed for you in that book. Okay, and this is probably the smallest quilt, and after, after I share this quilt with you, I think we're going to put the rest of the quilts on the quilt stand behind me so that you can get a better look at all of them. But this one's just a lap size, so I'll, I'll pull it out. And this is from the Martingale Moda All-Stars Merry Makers Christmas book. And it's a book full of Christmas projects of all sizes, and my project in the book was just this fun lap quilt and it's just got different rows of reds and greens. And I was able to use mostly fabrics from our collections for this quilt. So we're going to show all of the rest of the quilts back on the quilt stand. I'll start with the first one, and you might have seen it before because I've shared it. It's a really fast and fun layer cake quilt. What we'll do now is we'll just kind of switch out the quilts behind me so that we can share all the rest of the quilts. Okay, so up first on the quilt stand behind me is my four square quilt. And this is a really fast and fun layer cake quilt made with Swell Christmas. It's one of my patterns and it's available in paper and PDF. And this is one of those quilts that goes together very, very quickly and is also a lot of fun. This next one is actually from my 2019 Block of the Month program. And I did two different versions of that quilt, and one of them in red and green. And I had so much fun at the end of the year having um, a scrappy quilt with my fabrics and then this Christmas version. So this is available in PDF only from my shop, and I'll put a link for it in the description below. I did set this one on point, so that makes it a little bit difficult if you've never done one of those quilts, but I also have a, a tutorial on my blog for how to put an on-point quilt together. This is another block of the month pattern that I did in Christmas fabrics, and this is my 2018 Quilting Life block of the month. And this is another one that I did two different versions and had a lot of fun using one as a Christmas quilt. The fabrics are from a few years ago, it was a Christmas collection by Stacy Su for Moda. And while this collection isn't available anymore, or it would be really difficult to find, 
a lot of her fun Christmas collections have the same kind of feel. So if you want to make something with a similar look, just look for Stacy Asu Christmas Fabrics. And she usually comes out with a new one every single year, and they're all really cute and fun. But this is the 2018 Quilting Life Block of the Month pattern. Okay, this one is my potluck pattern. You might have seen it before. I've shared it when I shared my layer cake quilt pattern video. But it's really fun in Christmas fabrics. Just a layer cake and it goes together pretty quickly because you have the plain squares and the simple chain blocks. And then I use three of the Dresden blocks in my quilt. But if you don't want to make those, you don't have to. You can just substitute it with a plain square. But this is Potluck in Christmas Fabrics, and this is also from the Swell Christmas Collection from a couple years ago. Okay, this next one is my Delight Quilt from my Sunday Best Quilts book. And it's actually a jelly roll quilt that is a lot of fun to make, and I kind of did the, the greens and the reds so that they would make this pattern. It's, it's fast and fun, and I will link to the Sunday Best Quilts book in the description below. Okay, this quilt is from the Christmas Figs Block of the Month book, and it's actually the same book from that I showed you the Christmas tree skirt from earlier. So they're both in the same book, and there are some other projects as well, some pillows and, and smaller projects. This is a really fun quilt to make, and I made it with all fig tree fabrics, and I'll link the fig, Christmas Figs book link in the description below. Okay, this is my hometown quilt, the Christmas version. This is another one you might have seen on the layer cake video because this one is made with a layer cake. And I love how you can make such a nice size quilt with just one layer cake. I, this one is also set on point, but again, I have directions for putting an on point quilt together if you haven't made one. And the fabric for this one is a Sweetwater collection from a couple years ago. And once again, they usually do Christmas collections every year or so. And so even though this exact collection might not be available, if you look for their most recent Christmas collection, you'll get kind of the same look. Okay, this is another favorite. This is my Scrappy Trip Around the World Christmas version. So this is a free tutorial, and I'll link to the free tutorial for this. You can use two and a half inch jelly roll strips, cut your scraps into that size, and it just really is a fun quilt. I did kind of, I was intentional about how I put the white fabric so that I could create the chain going through the quilt, but I have a lot of different Christmas fabrics in this quilt from things that don't even go together, but it just kind of works, as you can see. I, I actually want to make another one of these now with just fig tree Christmas fabrics, and I think it will be really fun. But, but this is one that you can work on throughout the year with your scraps and have a great Christmas quilt to put together without, without having really a pattern. You just make the blocks and then put them together how you want. Okay, this one is my Sugar Pine Stars pattern, and I'd actually forgotten what a nice size quilt this was until we got it out to hang it up. It really makes a good size quilt. It's a fat quarter quilt, and so you'll need red and green fat quarters, and then I use low volume prints for a lot of the blocks, and some of the blocks I did the same fabric, or you'll, you can see some of them have solid fabrics, but it's just a, a really fun quilt pattern, and it would be quilt really fun not in Christmas fabrics too, but the first one I made was in these Christmas fabrics, and that quarter quilt pattern's available in paper and PDF. Okay, and this last one is actually my daughter Chelsea's pattern. It's called Under the Tree, and I love this one because she actually didn't use Christmas fabrics to make this quilt, she just used reds and greens and corals and tans from our walkabout fabric collection from a few years ago. But of course, you could use Christmas fabrics for it and it would be super cute. It's just really cute package quilt and um, 20 different blocks and you can mix and match your Christmas fabrics for them. And I'll link to her pattern as well in the description below. Okay, so those are my Christmas quilts. And as I mentioned earlier, I have a couple of new Christmas quilts that I'm working on right now that I'll be back to share in another video. 
I always try to make a couple new things every single year. So I'm, I'm getting them done early this year and we'll be able to use them in fact. So I'll be back with that video. If you enjoyed this video, it would be wonderful if you could hit the like button and share with a friend. And thanks so much for stopping by.